All right, I'm with Kayleen and Lou, and we are looking at this porch. And all right, so what they did is they took down a great big pergola that was out here, and they put up the sunroom panels. They've got it set for a ceiling fan, and this I assume is the wiring to connect all the wiring. And all right, so what all needs to be finished out here? What are you looking to have done? So we're going to finish the rest of the roof, and I do have the panels in the garage. Right? Okay. So, that. so they've got one more panel and part of a panel. Um, that's about six feet, and the panels are four feet. going to do with the rest of this so we want to we got to paint the floor okay so we got a color picked out a solid color okay and we want to paint the railings okay and then we question to you is we obviously want to screen it in okay either screen to the to the bottom all right or do we close this in right like to close it in if it's not cost prohibitive. Right. And then just do the screens like in here. I think we would keep a lot, keep it drier. But for the floor here, we want to stain it so it's sealed. Okay. Then we want to put down, I forget what it's called, like a real thin plywood. I forget okay. what I had the name Subfloor, of it. Subfloor, basically. Subfloor. And then I guess with felt on the top, and then Kayleen will pick out like indoor outdoor carpet to go on top of that. Okay. All right. Now, I will tell you, by the time you do that, you're already over your threshold uh, for the door. So your height, you know, putting anything on top of this, you're not going to have a lot of space. Okay. Um, now, what that does is if it's higher than the threshold, it becomes a kick hazard, you know, trip hazard kind of thing. Uh, so... These are all five foot sections, so one, two, three, so you've got approximately 15 feet. And then these get a little wider here. So one, two, three, four, five, six foot sections. So this is about 30 by 15 over there. And now, they didn't do a gutter at the end of it or anything yet. No, I don't think they, he had planned to do a gutter. Okay. He was going to kind of like even off the ends. Uh huh. And we're going to put the end here. Which right. We have, and then here, I don't know what happened here where he put the thing with the light. Uh huh. All the electric, there was a wall sponge here. Yeah. So the electric will run through here through all that. Uh huh. And then we want to, you know, eventually not put a, a light back on here because we want to put a TV probably mounted on here. Okay. All right. So I'm just, I mean, that's why we, we wanted to run the electrical through here. It was running through this on the old part, through the pergola. Uh-huh. So we got to cap that off. And okay. All right. And... And I guess, you know, a frame would have to be built here for the door. So basically a screened-in door. She likes, she wants like a double French type door if possible. In a screened room? Yeah. Any particular reason? She just wants a big double door if it's possible. Okay. So not a, so a swinging door, not a sliding door. Okay. And uh, this, I think still has to cure. Yeah, before it can be stained. So we want to put a different, you know, we have the color picked out for that. We want to put um, a transparent stain on here. Uh-huh. Okay. And then I'll ask for your recommendation, so I'll show you out here. Okay.
Okay. So stain all the post and the band. And the see how the ends of those rafters are open? On the roof? Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's the the problem with that. Um, that supposedly he was gonna use some kind of saw to cut it, even it all off. Right. And then I guess I don't know what he was gonna do to finish it. Yeah. Well, it needs to be flashed or, uh, you know, something to cover the foam right. insulation in the middle because water will you get did. in there and it'll all get you know, moldy, and nasty. Again, I didn't go up on the roof there. Supposedly he did use silicon seal on the roof panel. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. An under decking, like a white under decking under here. Okay. And then put two fans up here as well. Okay. Like the, what, to the fourth section, I think. Right. So you want this to be waterproof down here? If, well, yeah, because if we seal the top and put the carpet in the floor, right. You know, and chance water probably won't get down, but you did want, if it's possible, to put the um, under decking. Yeah. Okay. Two fans. All right. And all right. Yeah, so these these beams down and that like the big one going across would be with a, a transparent stain and the top would be with a different like the solid. Right. Okay. So she's not really gonna color this part or that they're going to just be the wood color here that she picked so not a clear but no, a, it's, it's, just a trans it's a semi transparent thing. right it's like okay a cordovan t104 if i can find it okay Down the side in your left hand over there? Or? You got it, Cordovan Brown. Okay. All right. And this is and solid, whose, whose so, brochure? Oh, it's, it probably came from Home Depot. It's bare. Okay. And then the solid up on the top was this thing called wood chip. Wood chip. Okay. All right. Yeah, so the question was, she wants two double doors, the widest possible, and then the screen. The question we have is the screen all the way down. We want to keep the railing like it is, but uh -huh. you know, maybe just cover it with right. the bottom piece. And I guess you guys have done that, right? Right, yep. Okay. So, here we go. Here's a good perspective of this. So, turn all of that into a screened in porch up there and a regular door in the end wall and stain everything okay and then something to do with wrapping the end of that there okay all right Anything else?